ECDL Advanced, PowerPoint, Lesson 3, Background Effects. As well as colour changes, various other effects can be applied to the overall slide background. These can be applied to slides with or without design templates already in place, and generally they're more effective when applied to less cluttered slide designs. Effects that can be added are colour gradients, textures, patterns and pictures. We have open here the assessment presentation and it's open in normal view. I can check that by going view and we can see that it's in normal view. We want to select the design tab and at the far end you'll see format background which is in the customize group. Select the gradient fill option now gradients can be selected from the preset gradients drop down box which is the one over here. If we click on it we'll see all sorts of different options light gradient accent 1, top spotlight accent 1 etc and also various different colours. The one to select for the purposes of this exercise is the top spotlight accent 1 so select it first and then at the bottom it won't apply it unless you press apply to all. Okay so hopefully we saw the change on the left hand side and we'll see that only the background of the slides change. Now this can cause problems if a new background causes the content of the slides to be less visible. For example if a light background is applied behind light coloured text so therefore, trial and error may be involved to find a suitable effect. Next, let's have a look at formatting the background to put in a texture fill. So again, within the Format Background pane, select Picture or Texture Fill, then select the Texture drop-down box. If we move the cursor over the various options, we'll see we have papyrus, canvas, denim, woven mat, fish fossil, all sorts of different options. Select any of these. Now I'm going to select a dark one, so I'm going to go for this green one here, the green marble. And then again, as before, select apply to all. The effect can be previewed in the slides pane on the left. Also, any picture that's stored on the computer can be used as a background. So while we've still got picture or texture fill selected, this time click file from the insert picture from section. And we're now going to navigate to the file called ostrich, which is over here. Select it and then click insert. With a picture background, existing graphics may not be appropriate. So therefore, select the option to hide background graphics, that's over here, and then click Apply to All. Next, close the Format Background pane, and then save the presentation as Big Bird, and then close it. As an aside, pictures can be effective backgrounds and they also add an exclusive appearance to a presentation. But care must be taken. Pictures are more likely to distract attention from the slide contents. Okay, I hope that's been of some use. I look forward to seeing you next time.